is tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, but somehow, sometime in December, I'm sure now some people might be getting tired of some of the dreams and the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. But sometime in December, God just spoke to me and told me that one of the ministers during the OE extra not it. Yeah. So, prepare yourself. Hallelujah. So he gave me a word that I want to share with you tonight. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 37, verse 5 to 8. I want you to ask today on the, the power of a God given destiny. The power of a God given destiny. The power of a God given destiny. Hallelujah. The power of a God given destiny. I feel so privileged today to stand in front of uh, CEOs, uh, people of government, um, entrepreneurs, kind of apostles, prophets, pastors, evangelists, teachers, and now highly gifted people. I feel so privileged today. I feel so privileged today um, to be standing in front of great people. I remember two years ago we were having a session on, on as we were preparing to run for exam in 2014. This lady told us that if you find yourself needing a GCT, know that you are a leader of leaders. So I don't take it for granted, hallelujah. I don't take it for granted that tonight I'm standing in front of you. I will share, as I said, on the power of a God-given destiny. Take note, God-given destiny. Genesis chapter 37, verse 5 to 8, the Bible says, Now Joseph had a dream. Somebody say a dream. A dream. Now Joseph had a dream, and he told his, his, to his brothers, and they hated him even more. So he said to them, Please hear this dream, which I have dreamed. There we were binding sheaves in the field. Then behold, my sheep arose. Can we say my sheep arose? My sheep arose. And also stood upright, and indeed your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to my sheep. Can we see? Verse yeah. 8. And his brother said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Really? <laughs> shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Hallelujah. Someone may ask, why are we emphasizing so much about destiny? Yet it is the year of the Holy Spirit. Why destiny in the year of the Holy Spirit? Why well, not God once say the Holy Spirit functions like electricity? And we are like appliances. So what happens is that when we get connected to Him, we respond according to the nature in which we are engineered. So in a house you will find that there are there is a kettle for boiling water. There is a television. There is a. I mean, think of anything. You know. But what happens is that a fridge does not respond to electricity the way a cat responds to electricity. A fridge brings coldness, but a stove brings heat. But the source is the same. But the manifestation is different. So now what happens is that as we are looking forward to a year of the Holy Spirit, what will happen is that we will all get connected to Him. But now, if you don't understand who you are, if you don't understand your function, then you will be frustrated perhaps by your manifestation. Hallelujah. And I want 
the Holy Spirit. And then Rebecca is a figure of the wife, which is the bride of the church, SCF. Now Eliezer comes with the gifts. <laughs> the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And Rebecca is now, I mean, I don't
speak for you to such an extent that the world cannot afford to ignore you.
The gestation period of an elephant is 645 days, and that of a rabbit is 31 days. See, when an elephant sees a rabbit producing every day, I mean, every month, it can get under pressure. Yeah, yeah. 
I am today. Yeah. I believe that at some point, Bishop Tim and this man will speak and preach and people will not write notes. <laughs> but today, when he, he just takes the mic, the first minute you're like, I'm done, I'm done. Hallelujah. Joseph then says 
the shame arose, it grew upright. It became established and recognized. It stood out and was distinguished among the rest. It became a pillar of influence. And then he says the other shoes stood around it and bowed down. Hallelujah. Are we ready to close? Alright, let's read Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. Bible says, And it shall come to pass in the later days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be firmly established as the highest of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow to it. Let me say, And many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his path for out of Zion shall go from the Lord and instruction in the word of the Lord from Jerusalem Jesus then says you are a I mean you are the light of the world a city set above the hill it cannot be hidden now I want us to go back and understand the, the point that we mentioned earlier on that it was not a brother's that bowed down to Joseph. It was not Joseph that demanded his brothers to bow down before him, but it was the shades of his brothers that bowed down to the shade of the I army mean of Joseph. And then we see the shades represents destiny. So in a way, it was not Joseph who demanded the brothers to bow down to him. But the God given destiny in Joseph demanded that the brothers bow down. So now it was destiny to destiny. We are suggest to us, brothers and sisters, that you can go today as, as, a, as, a, as a business student, you might hate doctors. But if you are a lady at some point, five years down the line, you will need a doctor to deliver your baby.